Hello and welcome to a Yogscast first look at a brand new raid boss in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. This is Magmor, an enormous lava worm who is the optional first boss of Blackwing Descent, which is most likely to be one of the first instances you go into in Cataclysm. Uh, the fight has some quite interesting mechanics and I think it's a bit buggy at the moment, uh, but hopefully they'll fix that before you actually have to try it. So Magmor will stay in the lava at the end of the room during the whole fight. He has a frontal lava breath, so the tank needs to be off to one side, with melee on the other side and range spread out around. He will periodically throw down these big meteor things, which knock everyone back, and will spawn a lot of little lava. These need to be picked up and off tanked, as I'm doing here. These will put debuffs on people, which stun them and make them spew out other lava. So if these aren't picked up properly, they can quickly spread around the whole raid and cause a lot of trouble. Also, you may have noticed that Magmor just cast this horrible AoE uninterruptible ability, which hits everyone in the raid for over 100,000 damage, um, which is an awful lot. So cooldowns are needed to survive this. Uh, here's another ability he does, which is uh, put fire over one half of the room, so it kind of encourages the people to, to move on to the other side. Uh, and this is the, the key ability here, where he slumps forward, uh, allowing people to actually jump onto him. I'll just quickly show you what this looks like. Now what you have to do is you have to have three people jump on his back, and you get an ability when you jump on him, which is a chain. And you can use this chain on the hooks in the ceiling. It obviously needs to be very well coordinated between the three people who jump on him. And when they've chained him, he will actually get impaled on this spike and take enormous additional damage. This is kind of the damage phase, and it obviously should repeat. So, you know, he should do his, his AoE, and he'll do his, his fire on one side of the room, and he'll spawn the parasites. And then he'll do this head slam, you jump on, you, you, you chain him down, rinse, repeat. Uh, in this version of the, the, the actual fight that we did, he was a bit buggy, which meant you could actually, when he was coming back from being impaled, you could jump on him again, and you could chain him again, and you could impale him again. So he actually uh, went down very, very easily for us. He only cast a few AoEs and stuff, and didn't spawn any additional ads. But in the actual fight, uh, it's very very hard to to deal with this stuff. So we did try and do this a couple of times, doing it normally, and we found that our healers were running out of mana, about 50% life. Um, we found it very very difficult to deal with the, the AoE damage, and the, the parasites keep spawning, they hit hard. His his AoE that he does in the whole raid is, is really powerful, and it's, it's a lot of effort to heal up, especially with these large health pools, and it's completely unavoidable. This is certainly a very, very difficult fight, and if it wasn't bugged, I very much doubt we would have been able to kill him. Although I want to give a shout out to the Aussie Guild, Fear on Nagrand, who um, let me raid with them. I'm sure they would have been able to kill him without me. Easy. So yeah, this and all the other 10-man normal modes are actually very challenging at the moment, even with full heroic gear, knowing what we're doing, having a decent group. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens on release, whether these, these encounters do stay the same or whether they're nerfed. I can't imagine what the heroic version of this is like, and it must be absolute torture, because the normal mode is hard without, you know, abusing the bug like we are. Obviously, 10 mans now drop the same loot as 25 mans, if you didn't know, so Blizzard are trying to make the 10 mans of equal difficulty to the 25 mans, and this is a very difficult thing to do. So we'll see what happens in future. I personally expect to see these encounters be made easier. Um, I realise that people want a challenging fight and they want stuff to feel like an achievement when they've killed it. Great. I think that's what the heroic modes are for. Normal modes should be doable if you have the gear, you know the strategy, and you've spent a couple of hours wiping to learn the fight. But some of these fights are so overtuned at the moment that even in full epic gear, um, it's still very, very difficult to kill them on 10 man. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this stuff, man, and I do like a challenge as much as the next person, but, but equally it's not fun to have something that's too difficult. Um, the heroics themselves, the five man heroics, are very difficult, and you know, you know, you need that that, that gear to get into these instances in the first place. 
So I think progression might be actually fairly slow in the expansion. It's certainly going to be very, very, very different to Wrath release. People were clearing all endgame Wrath content in the first week. I mean, Insidia killed everything in the new Naxxramas, Malagos, Sartharian, everything was dead in the first week of Wrath. I think it's going to be extremely different here. Yes, the high-end guilds will be raiding probably in the first couple of weeks and killing stuff. Um, but for everyone else, I think that you know the difficulty is just so high and getting the gear you need to survive something like 110,000 damage AOE like this guy does. Ice Crown 10 gear is going to be replaced by you know level 83 greens from Deep Home. So you're going to have to gear up somehow. Um, and that you know doing the heroics is time consuming so getting a, a full you know raid guild up to up and running is going to be a lot slower anyway so that's my general thoughts on on this boss and also you know where we're going to be in the expansion i think the raiding environment looks really really good far better than it did at wrath release uh, this release is going to bring you a lot of interesting and fun encounters of different difficulty setting challenges so, yeah, I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. I'd love to see what your comments are about my thoughts in the video. Thanks for watching this. He didn't drop any loot, uh, by the way. <laughs> and, um, yeah, check out my other videos and stuff. They're really good.